एवरीवन सो माय दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन योर डीआरडीओ इंटरव्यू आई टोल्ड यू इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस दैट द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस लाइक डीआरडीओ बीएआरसी आईएसआरओ एचएल मे बी दे आर लिटिल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन यू नो अदर पब्लिक सेक्टर्स और असिस्टेंट इंजीनियर इंटरव्यूज और प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल दीज इंटरव्यूज आर लिटिल डिफरेंट so uh, in this kind of interviews they check your aptitude research aptitude can you think in a different ways and uh, do you focus on very very small things or not so that is the reason these interviews are different they are not like you know uh, question is asked you know the answer and you gave the answer it is not like that <clears throat> today i'll give you another example uh, of the real interview of uh, real question of drdo interview and i'll tell you uh, the meaning of that and how you are to approach that so this is how it goes he ask you your favorite subjects you say thermodynamics is my favorite subjects and then he says okay can you tell me something about zeroth law so the first question starts with the maybe zeroth law that is the zeroth law is the first uh, i mean that is one of the laws and then you explain what is the zeroth law that everyone knows what is the meaning of that then he says what is the application of zeroth law you say sir zeroth law tells you something about how to measure the temperature it talks about thermodynamic property which is temperature and it uh, it is a basis of uh, you know uh, devising one uh, uh, device or uh, creating one device which is called thermometer and then there are different types of thermometers then he says how shall you measure the temperature of a body if there is no thermometer at home how shall you measure a temperature let's say 25 degree centigrade you do not have a thermometer you don't get understanding you don't idea get idea how can i measure if there is no thermometer then he says okay uh, what about 100 degree centigrade so can you uh, tell me can you uh, with certainty tell me that this temperature of this body is 100 degree centigrade and you know certain things hit you and you say yes sir so boiling of the water takes place at 100 degree centigrade and the next question comes is uh does the water boil always at 100 degree centigrade you say sir yes but there is a assumption if you don't mention that then you need to mention that yes sir the assumption is the boiling of the water takes place at you know 100 degree centigrade it is at 100 degree centigrade and uh, at temperature pressure has to be one atmosphere the assumption is atmospheric pressure okay good so any idea for 0 degree centigrade how can you ensure ensure that uh, you know the temperature of this particular thing is 0 degree centigrade you know uh, freezing and boiling are the phase change processes freezing and boiling they are the two phase changes processes so when boiling is there that means liquid to vapor that particular phase change is taking place and hence the temperature is 100 degree centigrade you will get to know that at that particular point temperature will remain 100 degree centigrade and pressure has to be atmosphere now similarly in the fridge if you put water in the fridge let's say the temperature in the freezer is minus 10 degree centigrade how do you know that temperature is 0 degree not minus 5 not 2 only 0 degree how do you know that sir phase change will be taking place what is the meaning of that that means there will be liquid and there will be ice also coexistence coexistence of two phases liquid and solid if these two phases are coexisting then the temperature is 0 degree centigrade similarly there are two phases you know there is a gaseous phase and there is a liquid phase that is the boiling means vaporization so these two phases coexist and that is the temperature is 100 degree centigrade similarly these two stages are coexisting and the temperature is 0 degree centigrade now now comes the next question i give you 1 kg of boiling water 1 kg of freezing water 100 degree 0 degree if i add these two if i add these two no doubt i get 2 kg 2 kg any idea what will be the final temperature what will be the final temperature if i add boiling water at 100 degree centigrade with the freezing water at 0 degree centigrade if i add it what is the temperature and maximum students will jump to the conclusion sir the temperature is going to be 50 degree centigrade okay if that is answer 
what are the assumptions behind that and this kind of addition is what process now this process is adiabatic process you know what is adiabatic process and there are some ways in which you can get the process as adiabatic there are certain ways either the system should be isolated like universe or system should be insulated right or it should be very quick process like free expansion or it should be no space is provided for you to heat to flow something like throttling these are couple of ways in which you can attain the adiabatic process now when you say that the two uh, you know beakers in which 100 degree centigrade zero degree is added you assume it to be adiabatic why you assumed it to be adiabatic it is not insulated it is not quick it is not that space is not there it is isolated means what isolated means that entire heat which goes from 100 degree centigrade water to ice making water freezing water 100% heat goes from one beaker to another beaker and it does not go outside that means no heat flows outside when the water at 100 degree centigrade is mixed with 0 degree centigrade so entire heat which goes from 100 degree centigrade it goes into 0 degree centigrade water that is the assumption and hence it is system becomes isolated isolated means what no impact of heat transfer on outside so whatever heat goes it goes outside that is the meaning of it right this is how it goes now what will be the final temperature you said 50 degrees centigrade now let us say this beaker was at 100 degrees centigrade and then you added it with 0 degree centigrade this is the 0 degree centigrade understand this is 0 degree centigrade and what you got is this is now T final that means some heat must have gone from here to here DQ let us say mass is 1 kg mass is 1 kg let us say M1 M2 Cp1 Cp2 you know what is specific heat and let us say T is 100 this is T is 0 now what is the formula of heat flow m c delta t okay how much heat flows from here m1 cp1 t 100 minus t final final temperature is t final is equal to m2 cp2 t final minus 0 degree centigrade let us say t final is 0 in that centigrade so this is t0 let us say now mass is 1 kg okay done t final we want to calculate let us say this is 100 this is 0 do you think cp are same so the assumption if you want it to be 50 assumption was specific heat of the water when it is boiling and specific heat of the ice when it is getting formed is same but actually it is not there you know water cast specific heat is 4.18 kg per kg kelvin you know and uh, for ice it is approximately 2 if I am not wrong I am not very sure but it is approximately 2 so you will say sir I need to know the specific heat of the water which is 4.18 specific heat of the ice when it is getting formed and then I will put it and I will calculate the final temperature this is the approach he is expecting from you and you should have got it this is the approach he is expecting that you will give this particular approach understand he will keep on digging you forward do not be in hurry do not give the answers in hurry he will keep on digging you and you follow need to follow one approach and if you do that particular approach your answer will be correct and you think and then only you answer small small things should be very very clear watch all these videos which are available on your PDA and were asked in research organization like DRDO watch all these videos and I am very sure you will start getting trained how you have to answer these questions keep watching all the uh, real uh, uh, questions asked in DRDU kind of interviews so that you get an idea how answers is to be given. All the very best. Thank you.